welcome back. We've had, of course, some strong winds so far today. It is coming alongside a front that will sweep the state overnight tonight, returning us to 30s for highs tomorrow. So drastic drop in temperatures and a little snow in the forecast. But uh, we've also got this upper level, uh, upper level trough, which is coming alongside with the front. So oftentimes you can just get these little cold fronts that come through that are really not accompanied by a much larger area of low pressure. And this time uh, it is, and you can kind of see that uh, uh, U shape right here in the upper level wind. Mark, but look at the white that is showing up. That's uh, close to about a 700 millibar jet streak kind of inside that jet stream. So that's kind of getting uh, pulled across parts of Colorado right now. And oftentimes that can get a uh, transition down a little bit closer to the surface, which can increase those winds even more. So until we move through the overnight hours tonight, we're going to continue to experience some pretty strong winds across the region. Now that was at about 250 millibars, so well above the surface. Uh, most of the surface is experiencing in between about a 50 to 60 mile an hour gust. Uh, ahead of this front, which you can actually see is yielding some snow and rain showers back across northwestern Colorado and parts of Wyoming. Uh, here across southern Colorado, it's a clean sweep of the radar right now, uh, but we're certainly picking up a little bit of dust that's showing up just east of Pueblo County and east of I-25 as a result of those very strong winds that are clocking 60 miles per hour right now. Uh, you'll notice after about 6 p.m., our winds start to die down closer to a 20 to 30 mile per hour gust and then substantially uh, really tapering off after about 8 o'clock this evening. We're still going to have some strong wind gusts across the eastern plains through about midnight tonight. Uh, it's still going to be breezy across parts of El Paso County and the I-25 corridor. Uh, but after midnight, it gets a little bit calmer across most of the Pikes Peak region and certainly here across parts of the Eastern Plains as that front uh, really continues to sweep the state. So it is going to move through between about uh, 11 p.m. and 2 o'clock in the morning and then just off and on breezes for us tomorrow afternoon. It's certainly going to be cold and blustery. It's coming with a sharp drop in temperatures. So we're going to go from the 70s and 80s today down to the 20s and 30s on Tuesday and the 30s and 40s here across parts of the Eastern Plains. So if you're joining us around Mountain, Hanover, Fort Carson, parts of Briargate will be hovering around freezing for our high temperatures tomorrow. Cloud cover, gusty winds. It's just going to be uh, just downright cold and you need to layer up tomorrow afternoon. Here we go through the overnight time frame and you'll notice it is going to come with a chance for some snow showers across the central and northern mountains. We're still dry through about 10 o'clock, but look at the differing wind direction here. So the forecast model starting to pick up on the front pushing through between about uh, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the morning uh, where winds are going to contain stay fairly elevated. Then that cloud deck comes in into the overnight hours. So before you wake up in the morning, uh, you'll have plenty of cloud cover out there. And of course, it's going to come with the chance for snow right along that boundary between about 6 and 9 a.m. in the morning for parts of the Palmer Divide. Little to no accumulations for that first little round, but then we've got another little wave coming in embedded in that trough that's actually going to yield some snow showers between about noon and 4 p.m. tomorrow across Highway 24 and then closer from about 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the afternoon and evening for Colorado Springs and down to Fountain. And this is really going to linger through our afternoon commute. Now remember, our ground surface temperatures are actually in the 80s today. So most of this is going to melt on impacts. So it's probably not going to look very impressive. We'll get a little accumulations, but we'll have to just watch the overnight hours Tuesday into Wednesday morning for anything that's lingering there that could form a little bit of black ice on some of those roadways. We'll get some bandings of snow across parts of the Raton Mesa, areas into Trinidad and Walsenburg into Tuesday evening, and then we'll clear out on Wednesday returning to some sunshine. So it is a very quick moving system. It's going to be bring a brief cold down for a uh, cool down for us, but nothing is going to linger too long. Anywhere between a trace close to an inch for parts of southern Colorado, uh, closer to the mountains, two to four inches will be possible here across parts of El Paso County, anywhere between a general one to three and closer to two to four. Notice how Woodland Park, if our forecast model really doesn't show much happening there in Woodland Park, and I, I really don't think our forecast model is picking up on some of the banding and the dynamics that can take place in northern Taylor County. So I would still expect a decent two to four inches in some of those locations tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Highs will be back in the 40s and 50s on Wednesday. North winds spilling in across the region, keeping us below average. And then it is a warming trend from that point forward. Well into Easter weekend, where we'll be into the 60s on Sunday for Woodland Park. And that's going to mean the 70s and 80s in Pueblo. Uh, so completely uh, dancing to the beat of a different drum by the weekend time frame. So another round of snow for us in Canyon City. Very light, though. Nothing we are expecting that's going to cause any widespread travel impacts but certainly blustery and chilly on Tuesday. Back to you guys. When you entrust a loved one to the care of a nursing home, sometimes that trust is shattered by abuse or neglect. McDivitt Law Firm stands ready to help.